everybody, it's Catherine and welcome. <coughs> oh dear, coughing already. Uh, welcome, happy Monday everybody. Hope you had a good weekend, reasonable weekend. And uh, just a quick video uh, to let you know what I'm doing this week and what's coming up. If you remember, we've got this dilemma of having this big big gator mouth of a um for my tags keep and uh, so i had a lovely suggestion saying you know why don't you split it down into smaller signatures uh great idea i don't know <laughs> i don't know why i didn't think of it that's really simple isn't it and thank you for suggesting it um it still doesn't fit into that cover but I'm going to be uh, I've already sort of started splitting it out and I think it's a great idea because I think I can add a few more pages and a few more pockets so I think that will make it a really um, you know a good place to store tags so I'm going to be working on that this is a lovely fabric if you didn't see my recent uh, fabric haul um, go and have a look at that um, because I got some real bargains and I just love this absolutely love this the design and look at that look at that lovely dandelion it's a shame that's on the back but still so I'm going to be using that and then what have we got coming up well tomorrow Tuesday I'm going to be doing um, the first part I'm going to be doing um, turning turning paper into fabric and so what I suggest if you want to um, where are we get a selection of either piece of uh, oh it's behind me it's behind you yeah I'm going to get uh, some uh, some of this that I've got for out of Rachel's uh, antique papers and I'm going to be um, showing you how to do that there's several different ways that I use so there's probably another couple next couple of Tuesdays perhaps we'll look at different uh, different ways of, of doing that so yeah that's coming up tomorrow so I know quite a few were interested in that and um, also I've got some things together here I'm going to be on to my next page for my soul for the soul handmade book so those of you that are taking part in that or thinking of taking part in that I'm going to be doing my next page and I'll post that over on my Instagram so all the details down below of that I'm not great at Instagram I'm, I'm sort of trying to train myself to be better <laughs> putting stuff on Instagram um, <clears throat> and then also we've got a little project that I'm starting as well and if you want to join in these are the things that I like you to get together ready um, <clears throat> so we need some scraps of fabric um, ideally plain as plain you know quite plain so I've got I'll do the measurements in the minute so I've got that which is a, a dyed um, vintage napkin that is some thickish calico this is um, some leftover from one of the pages I did for soul for the soul and uh, this is again another piece of vintage linen so the sizing uh, rough this is rough rough guesstimate uh, about three and three quarters by round the tripod again uh four and three quarters um which is three and three quarters is about uh 95 and four and three quarters is about 125 um so if you get a few pieces of these and <coughs> oh dear sorry it's awful here today the awful weather I can see I've got my woolly pulley on here in the UK so sorry the light's not great we've got loads of lighting on but it's very drab out there uh, and I've got my jumper on which isn't a good sign is it beginning of September and I've got my jumpers out um, yeah so 
just some little snippets, some leftover bits and bobs uh, of material or, or leftover pieces of lace. So just get yourself, you know, some little scrap snippets like that and um, some little ruffles. If uh, We'll make some little ruffles to go on here as well. So long strips of things like this would be great just to do a bit of a, a ruffle. We're all going to be slow stitching but we are actually going to be making a project so it uh, it will be useful. A um, little bit of um, avocado dyed there and then a few scraps of paper. So I've got a bit of book paper there, I've got a little bit of scraps from um, some of the kits I've been using, a bit of book page, a bit of wallpaper that can be cut in small pieces with some nice design. So fairly plain backgrounds and then we're going to put some, some small snippets of things on there and do a bit of slow stitching. I've got, I've found that in my stash, that's gorgeous isn't it? Look at that, it's handmade paper with lovely chain stitch around it and a bit of music paper. And then I just keep this I think for little bits of hessian or I think it's burlap in the States. Little squares I cut them into because they're useful to to put onto projects for little slow stitch projects. Uh, there. So that's a little teaser for what's uh, hopefully Thursday I'll be doing that. Um, and uh, it's sort of, uh, yeah, it's like junk journaling but just we're just making a little bit of something that will be useful for Christmas. So if you want to gather a few of those bits and bobs together and, uh, and, and join in then please do so. It's a good way really of getting rid of your little bits of scraps of paper and uh, and fabric but uh, yeah I like I like doing them. There we go. So uh, tomorrow we're going to be doing um, paper. I usually like uh, normal 80 cof copy dyed copy dyed copy paper um, isn't the best, isn't the best. It, it tends to get mangled up in your machine a lot more. So at least 100 uh, GSM. Sorry, I don't know what that is in pounds, guys. Normal copier paper here is 80 GSM. Um, and then the next size up generally is 100. So if you guys in the States can work that, that your copier paper, whatever pounds that is, it's, it's slightly thicker. You don't want it too thick that it's like hard. You can do if you want in that sort of uh, um, effect for a certain project. But for this really, I'm, uh, I'm wanting to make the pockets like these pockets that, uh, you know, these pockets that, uh, that I've done on, on here. Um, I've got another pocket somewhere in this bit. Now I've split it. I don't know where everything is. It's probably in here. Yeah. So basically this has been done with the 100 GSM. Um, so that's just for a pocket like this. That's great. Gives you a bit of stability. So you don't need anything thicker this week from that. Once we start to explore other ideas, then uh, I'll let you know what um, what strength of things that you need. Um, yes. So plenty of things. You just need a bit of embroidery, thread, different bits of thread. Um, this I get from, it is from the UK and uh, Airedale Yarns in West Yorkshire. It was somewhere that Anne Brooke recommended that does the sew for the soul and this is linen and it's gorgeous, uh, very fine linen but you can get it quite inexpensive, you know it's undyed, it's on a great big cone, uh, lasts a long time uh, and it's quite neutral. I've got a, a, a beige one as well. Um, so, but I've got bits of pearl here, oddments. So you need a little bit of embroidery thread, all your bits and bobs that I've shown you here. And uh, yeah, looking forward to an exciting week ahead. So thank you for joining me today and uh, hope a few of you will uh, get some things ready for doing the project hopefully Thursday and the stitching tomorrow. 
Anyway, that's all for now. Let's hope tomorrow's a brighter day here in the UK. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Take care. Keep safe. Bye for now.